Hey guys, Harsh here back in video. So in this video, I am going to show you how you can read the analog value from this uh, sliding potentiometer and use it in a just like a normal servo over here. So let me just show you how it works. So if I slide the potentiometer, as you can see, the servo moves accordingly to it, a full 180 degrees. So in, in this video, first I will show you how you can read the sensor value from the potentiometer and display it on the serial monitor. And then after that, we will see how we can control a servo with it. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So here is the linear potentiometer as you can see and this is why it's called a linear potentiometer because it moves in a linear direction. Unlike the rotary ones which in which the knob rotates, it has this slider over here which will adjust the range of the potentiometer and also it has some pins over here, so total of 6 pins. They are just basically say the same outputs I believe. So output A which is OTA and output B which is OTB and the VCC are ground are coupled together. So the way this works is we will connect the power to the VCC and the ground and the data pin can go, go to any analog inputs on the Arduino so that way it will be able to read the potentiometer just like a normal potentiometer we use. So for that we will use our Arduino Uno. Obviously you can use any of the Arduinos as you like. Just make sure that you select the right board in the Arduino IDE. Now I also have this servo motor that uh, we will use the potentiometer to control. So this is a simple MG995 servo motor as you can see it is written over here. Let me just remove it. So as you can see MG995 and I have already connected the wires to it as you can see. So we can directly just put the pins into the Arduino over here and make it rotate. So first let's hook up our uh, potentiometer to the Arduino and see how we can program it. So in this case I am using the potentiometer output A. So for that we will connect the pin output A to our analog pin A0. Obviously you can use any pin of your liking just make sure it is an analog pin. Bottom right you can see we have A0, A18 all the way to A5 so you can connect in any of those. For me I will connect it at A0. Then we need to provide power to the potentiometer so we will connect VCC to plus 5 volts which is uh, right over here as you can see and then we will connect the ground to the ground which is just a no brainer thing just like so so now that we have uh, connected our potentiometer to the Arduino now we can head over to our computer and program it okay so this is the code that we will be using today so the first line we define a pot pin which is basically short for potentiometer pin which will be A0 as we have connected it to A0. Then we define an integer which is P underscore value which will store the value when we slide the potentiometer. So the value that we will get will basically range from 0 and it will go up to 1023. This is because the Arduino stores the values in a 10 bit system so we have total 10 bits to store the values and if we put the 10 in the power of 2 because bits consist of zeros and ones so we will get 1024 and uh, obviously the zero value in that is not included so if we include the zero value then it will be 1023. Now in the setup we'll just define the serial monitor with the 9600 budget which is pretty standard because uh, for this particular project we will be only printing the values in the serial monitor so in the void setup we just need to define that and then in the loop function we will store the value from the pot pin which will be a0 it will analog read it with this function and the whatever the value it read it will be stored in the p underscore value variable and then simply we'll print the variable in the serial monitor with serial dot print ln and ln just mean next line so once we print the value it will move on to the next line and print the next value and after that finally we will add a delay of 100 millisecond which will comes out to 10 readings every second so my arduino uno is connected to the computer so let's go to tools select our board which will be arduino uno then again go to tools and select our port which will be com port 8 in my case obviously in your case it may be some sort of different code so do make sure to select the right COM port and then we can simply click on upload. So this will first compile the sketch and if any error pops up it will let us know. If there aren't any it will just simply upload the code to the Arduino board. So now it says done uploading so we can go ahead and open up our serial monitor. And as you can see now we are getting the values. So right now it is set at, uh, set at maximum so we are getting the maximum value which is 
1023 sometime it gets a bit uh, jiggly so as you can see sometime we get two sometime we get one so let me just slide the potentiometer and you will see the value decrease so as you can see the value is now decreasing and if i slide it all the way down then it will be set at zero so this is how you can read the values from the potentiometer but uh, right now you may not know how to use this value so let me just uh, connect my servo i will just show you how you can connect the servo and then we'll move on from there now let's try to make the servo work so servo obviously also has three pins ground vcc and signal pin so the red pin is going to be our main power source for the motor which is which can range from i think it can range from 4 to 6 volt for this particular motor the brown wire is the ground for the servo motor and yellow wire is the signal pin for the signal pin you can connect it to any digital pin on the arduino and for me i'm using the digital pin number 5 which also has the ability to output pwm signals now I don't have any other 5 volt supply I think on this board so I will just connect it to the V in pin as you can see which is right over here and quite nicely labeled VIN so you can connect it there but uh, do not connect it if you are using an external power supply from this particular port because I think this supply and this supply are coupled together and I am just using the USB power to power this so I think it will only provide 5 volts not more than that and then finally the brown wire which is the ground we will connect it to the ground on the Arduino which I think we have plenty of them now the connection is done now we can again head to our computer and just uh, make some modification into the code to make it work now underneath here I have already done most of the coding so first we will include our servo library which will make things a lot easier for us because individually sending pwm values to a servo is pretty difficult so this servo library makes the job a lot easier and it's pre included in your arduino ide so you don't need to install it separately then we will define a servo which will be s1 in this case so let me just copy it there so we have a servo named s1 with this line now we also define a pin for the servo which is going to be pin 5 and this should be same as the one you connected in your board so it could be any pin any digital pin now in the setup function we will use this code which is servo dot attach servo pin so as you can see we have defined the servo pin which is pin number 5 and that will be stored here so this whole line means that our servo 1 is attached to pin number 5 and obviously if you have multiple servos then you can name them s1 s2 and s3 and connect them to different sort of pins so, uh, or you can directly write the pin number just like so but uh, it is a good practice to define all the pins at the top of the code so that's why i did that now here we have to do some more complicated stuff so first we will remove the serial print we don't want that anymore so we'll just remove this line then as you know the values that are read by the analog pin are stored in this variable over here which is p underscore value so we will define a new value which is over here so let me just copy it first and I will explain what it is so this new value will map the potentiometer value which is this one over here and as I have already said it ranges from 0 to 123 and it will be mapped to 0 and 180 so this function is really helpful when you are controlling the servos and if you are wondering how i got the 180 value this is basically the degrees to which a servo can move so there are multiple servos such as 360 degree servos 180 degree servos and 90 degree servos they are quite clearly mentioned when you purchase them and it is quite clearly mentioned in the title so this new value will get the converted value of this p value in range from 180 to 0 and once we get the range for 180 to 0 then we can write that value to our servo so as you know our servo name is s1 and we will write the value of new value here so this is the final code that for the servo so let's just select our com port and our arduino which are i think pre-selected so all we can do is just hit upload and it will again upload the code to the board so after uploading the code it should work uh just like normal so as you can see i have potentiometer right at the bottom there so let me just slide it over and as you can see the servo will start to move and if i move it all the way there then you can see the servo made a full 180 degree rotation so let me just do it quickly to show you so 
So as you can see, we can now use the sliding potentiometer with uh, literally anything just by using the analog read and the map function. The analog read will simply read the value and map function will give you the desired values that you need out of the potentiometer. So that's it guys for this video. Hopefully you will like it and uh, if you have any doubts regarding this video, you can comment down below and I will see you all in the next one.